Sorry. Okay, good day everyone. My name is Afolabi as usual and uh, we are here for another physics uh, section. Uh, we have been receiving so many comments about the previous videos we did. Uh, thanks for the comments uh, and keep them coming. Now today we are going to be talking about electricity, uh, part of physics that is very, very important. Electricity constitutes uh, more than uh, one of our, uh, more than a quarter of the whole of the scope in physics. So it is very, very important that you understand the fundamentals of electricity uh, as a whole in physics. So what is electricity really about? There are so many things around us that we use that make use of electricity, like our phones, our device, our laptops, our uh, fan, our bulbs. Most of these things use electricity, but so many of us don't really know the calculations and the, uh, and the processes involved in electricity. So I'm going to start this discussion with the definition of electricity as a whole. What is electricity? Electricity, electricity is the flow flow of electric charges electric charges in a device or material so whenever you have flow of electric charges then you have electricity that is whenever charges move from one point uh, in a material or a wire to another then you simply say there is electricity so once there is a flow of charges then we have electricity basically we have two types of electricity we have a case where the charges do not move, okay? And that one is what? Static electricity, static electricity. Here, we don't, the charges do not move. I've discussed, I've done a video on static electricity. You can download it and watch later. Static electricity has to do with static charges, electric fields, how they interact and how they influence one another. But here, we are dealing with current electricity. In current electricity, which is what we are discussing here, we are talking about the flow of charges. So basically, if you are talking about electricity, in terms of the movement of charges, we have two types of electricity. One is the static electricity, in which the charges do not move, but interact within an electric field. Another one is where you have the actual flow of electricity in a material or a device. And that one is what? The current electricity. And that is what we are here to discuss. So current electricity basically is what? The flow of electricity. Uh, in the material or uh, device, the flow of electric charges in the material or device. Now, what are these charges? What are these charges that flow? We know that whenever we have a neutral atom, if you have a neutral atom, if you have a neutral atom, the basic, uh, the basic symbolic uh, scheme of an atom is the electron, electron moving in the outer orbit, and you have the neutron and the proton. So the charges that actually move are the electron charges, okay? A charged object is made charged by either gaining or losing electron. Okay, so when we have loss of electron, loss of electron would be what? Positive charge, positive charge, while gain, gain of electron will give negative charge. Now, these electrons are free to move in some materials. For example, in conductors. Conductors have free mobile electrons. Conductors, mostly metals, mostly metals, have what? Free mobile electrons. So, they permit, electric, they permit electricity to move in them. Conductors are materials that can permit electricity to flow in them. Why? Because they have free mobile electrons on their surfaces. But insulators, on the other hand, insulators do not, do not, do not permit, permit electron flow. So for insulators, you have no flow of electricity. For conductors, you have free flow of electricity because they have free mobile electrons. But for insulators, you have no free flow of electricity because the electrons are not permitted to move. We also have some devices like uh, the electrolytes, electrolytes. Electrolytes are liquids that can conduct electricity. And the only reason why they can conduct electricity is because they possess the ability to do what? To ionize. They can conduct liquid that conducts electricity. Liquid, liquids conducting electricity. Conducting electricity. Okay? That is ionization. So for them to conduct electricity, it is simply because uh, they can ionize. What we have been discussing so far on this page is the definition of electricity then the types of material and why they conduct and what charges is all about. And I told you charges came from where? They came from the electronic configuration of atoms. Talking about
about neutron and proton and electron. So this is what really gives room for the charges which atoms possess. When they lose or gain electron, they become positive or negatively charged. For conductors, those electrons or those charges can move freely. Okay? For insulators, they are not allowed to move freely. For things like electrolytes, you have ions in them, and that permits the flow of electricity. That is in terms of where the charges come from. Another thing we have to look at here is the types of electricity. How many types of electricity do we have? Now, this is not to talk of the static or the current electricity, talking in terms of if the charges are stationary or moving. This is in terms of how the currents behave. We have two types of electricity. We have the alternating current, alternating current electricity. That's AC, alternating current electricity, in which one? The current has a constantly changing direction. Current, current is constantly changing direction. Constantly changing, changing direction. That's the alternating current. Then the second one is the direct current electricity. Direct current electricity. Direct current electricity. That's DC, and this is a unidirectional form of current. Unidirectional, unidirectional form of current. So for AC, AC is the popular one you use, the one supplied by the, uh, by the national grid, by the PACN or what you call them. That one is the AC or magnetic current. Why the DC is the one you get from your battery or your cells, the one you get from your car battery or the one you get from your uh, cell or your battery you buy by the uh, roadside technician. That is your AC and your DC. Now the AC is fatal because anytime you touch AC, it can lead to electric shock and it might lead to death. But your DC is not fatal. That is, battery lights or things from the solar panel, most of them are not uh, fatal. Now, talking about direct current electricity, which is the main topic today, direct current electricity. The first thing we need to look at when it comes to direct current electricity is electrical signs and symbols. Most times in electricity, we represent devices with signs and symbols. Electrical devices are represented by signs and symbols. Electrical devices are represented represented by signs and what symbols for example cell cell or battery as the case is it's represented as what this is a battery this is a battery okay this is the positive terminal this is the negative terminal this is a battery why your cell your resistor your resistor or load are represented as either this or this this is your load or your resistor. You have your capacitor. Capacitor represented as this. This is your capacitor. Inductor. Inductor represented as this. Then the, the switch. The switch is represented as this. This is a switch. Or you can do this. Okay, so any one of these are switches. So most times when we are describing electric, uh, electric circuits or when we are describing direct current electricity, we must be able to know the symbols that are used popularly in electric signs and electric circuits. Okay, after this video, I will upload with it several forms of electric signs and symbols and their denotations. Okay, electric circuit now. What are electric circuits? Electric circuits is a diagrammatic representation, a diagrammatic a diagrammatic representation, a diagrammatic representation of the of the interconnections, interconnections of electrical devices, electrical devices. So most times when we want to show electrical devices being connected, maybe your bulb and your power source and your switch, we make use of electrical circuits. And this is a kind of diagram, okay, showing us how electrical devices are connected from one to another. A typical example uh, is uh, when we have a load. This is a load connected to a switch, okay, connected to a cell or battery, and possibly connected to an ammeter. So this, this is a circuit. This is a cell. This is a battery. This is a battery. This is ammeter. This is the load or resistor. And this is the switch. So most times, when we have to represent, uh, when we have to represent electrical devices, for example, the ammeter. This is the ammeter. The ammeter will not be drawn physically this way. It should be represented by using this symbol. Okay. Just like your resistor. This is a variable resistor. This is a fixed resistor. A fixed resistor will not be drawn uh, diagrammatically. It will only be shown by the symbol for resistor. Likewise, you have that of the switch. We have so many types of circuits. 
which you can talk about this now, types of circuits. Types of circuits. Types of circuits, we have open circuits, we have closed circuits, we have closed circuits, we have short circuits, we have loop, and you have mesh. All these are various categories of circuits which you can uh, check for the meaning and learn more about circuits. Of course, during the analysis of uh, current electricity, I will take you through all the circuits and their meaning. Now, there are some popular terms we use in electricity that are very, very important. Popular terms in electricity. Popular terms in electricity. Okay, the current electricity or electric currents. Electric currents is the rate of flow, the rate of flow, rate of flow of electric charges, electric charges with respect to time. With respect to time. The rate of flow of electric charges with respect to time. That is, my electric current I is Q over T. You can see the Q stands for what? The charges. This for charges in columns, why this stands for time in seconds. So my electric current is measured in amperes, measured in amperes, measured in amperes, amps. That's the unit for measuring the electric current. Remember the electric current is a fundamental quantity and the unit is what? Amperes. Another very important term in electricity or in direct current electricity is the potential difference. Remember the word potential, anytime you hear the word potential, what comes to your mind? Work done comes to your mind. Potential simply means what? Work done. Work done in moving a charge, moving a charge from in moving a charge from one point to another, from one point to another in a circuit. So whenever you hear the word potential, the word work done must be mentioned. So your potential difference is the work done in moving a charge from one point to another. We also have the electromotive force. Electromotive force is a type of potential difference, but the potential difference between the terminal of the cell. This is the potential difference, potential difference, potential difference between between the terminals, the terminals of a cell, of a cell when not delivering current, when not delivering current. So the potential difference between the terminal of the cell when it is not delivering current is the electromotive force. We also have the voltage. The voltage is also a potential difference, but it's a potential difference between uh, potential difference across a circular element or across an electrical device. Potential difference across an electrical device. Potential difference across an electrical device. Electrical device. Now take note, your potential difference, electromotive force and voltage are all measured in volts. Okay, in our next video, still on direct current electricity, I will explain more about these terms, how they relate to one another, and the calculations that are involved.